So guys, what's up? It's your girl, Yana. So I let myself, like many other business owners, if you hear a sound in the background, <sighs> look, I'm on break, okay? It's my lunchtime. But um, so I, like many other business owners, have been waiting. I'll just see the stuff right here. Have been waiting to receive an update regarding the uh, SBA loans. And so, um, and seeing if we got, so I applied for the EIDL, and then I applied, I just applied for the EIDL grant. So I noticed in processing, the issue that I was having was that with the EIDL grant, I wasn't pushed over into processing until I accepted a loan amount. Um, I actually called them and I was like, hey, I'm surprised somebody actually answered and it didn't take hours for them to answer. But I'm like, hey, you know, I put in my application it's been like you know two weeks now like what's going on at this point it's been almost it's been over a month i put in my application back in june 17th around that time and so um i'm like hey you know what's going on like why is my application stuck in submitted status it's just like oh well you know you did i noticed you didn't choose a, a loan that's why i stuck in submitted status and i'm just like so i have to choose a loan i said i didn't want a loan i just wanted the grants she was like, okay, so if you just want the grants, we can move you on the process. And she was like, she looked at something. She was like, wait, actually, um, we're going to, we're just going to leave the loan amount like empty until you're ready. So what happened was, what I noticed, <laughs> which is very weird, um, when I chose a loan amount, which I chose a very extremely low amount, something that I can pay back like in no time. Um, once I chose the loan amount, it immediately it immediately pushed me over to processing, like the same day. Like I'm talking y'all, the second I submitted a loan amount, it pushed me over into processing, which is very strange because it seems like SBA is trying to force people to actually take out loans, even if as a business they don't want one. With me being a small business and not bringing in the income that I would be comfortable bringing in to accept a business loan. You can't force me or try to twist my arm or strong handle me into getting a loan. I don't care if it's forgivable or not. Like, and so, I mean, now that I know it is forgivable, because I was unaware of that, I would have definitely um, gotten way more money or uh, submitted for way more money. But the issue was that I had is that when you submit, I just wanted to test it out and see. So when you submit, um, or bef even before you submit, if you put in a thousand, it doesn't let you take it out. Like as soon as you put a, a thousand and click next, it forces that a thousand to stay locked in. And you literally, and when I say y'all, you literally can't take it out. You literally can't take I refresh the page and everything. I'm like, well, something wrong, because what if I didn't want a thousand? You know what I'm saying? And the minimum has to be that. So I'm just like, so what if I didn't want a thousand? You know what I'm saying? Now y'all forcing me and then y'all lock in the prompt. So once somebody enters something in there, you cannot take it out. So be careful with that. Like if you use your first time blind, the EID alone. Make sure, first of all, you got your taxes because you're going to need to fill that 4506 t Now, people spread rumors saying, oh, you may not need it. I'm not trying to hear that. Until the SBA come out with an announcement saying you don't need a 4506 t form, which is literally, basically, they have access to your taxes and they can see what, uh, you know, what you made to see if you're even eligible. Um, until they come out and say something, I'm not trying to hear that. Uh, that as, far, as far as I'm concerned, the 4506 t Form is still required. I haven't looked on their website, nor do I care because I already had to submit mine. So it's just like whatever. But um, the fact that most people are, I was looking at somebody's YouTube and he was saying that he did a poll and it's showing like 46% of people are still sitting in submitted status. Well, baby, if you didn't put no loan amount, that's why you're still sitting in submitted status. Because literally, when I tell you, literally seconds after me clicking submit for that $1,000, I went immediately to processing. So I, I contacted them last week. It was like, hey, sent an email to SBA. Like, hey, um, I'm just looking for like an update regarding, you know, my application. And they were saying, oh, we're working as hard as we can to service you, da, 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 da. Somebody responded. And, you know, they got automated. I guess they got a button they can click to automate your name. But I'm just like, come on now. Like, <laughs> like come on. It's just like it, the whole forcing people to take out loans and stuff, it's just, it's unnecessary. And, um... You know, not saying they could always go back on their word. They could if they wanted to. I highly doubt that they will, seeming as, you know, the circumstances, the pandemic and all that. But it's just like, um, 
yeah, that's been my, that's been my experience. Like like I said, my application has been in since like June seventeenth. I know it's people who've been waiting way longer than that. Like they were saying, they stuff been in submitted status for months. Once I went there two weeks and I saw that my submitted status wasn't changing, I I did a test to see, and it did go to processing immediately. So she messaged me saying, "Hey, your application's still in the processing department. We're moving as fast as we can. We we'll try to you know keep the twenty one day limit." We want to have applications handled within 21 day limit, but you know, so many businesses that missed out on funding because you know, big corp decided to swoop in and take all the funds the first time. So it's just like there's plenty of companies that still waiting, there's plenty of people who still waiting. It's just a waiting game at this point. Also, if you're not eligible, meaning you had to have had like a 50% decrease in income. If you do not have that, you can go ahead and cancel it. You might baby, you might be sitting for months and months waiting because it's like they you're not even eligible. So they not they might just I'm not going to say for sure because I don't know what they do over there. But they may just push your applications to the side. You know, you never know. So it's just like, but I will tell you for sure. And anybody who tries it can vouch for, for me in the comments. If you put in a, a loan amount, it's going to lock it in, A. And you can't change it. Okay? Once you click that submit button, they tell you you can't change it anyway. But say I wanted to go back in and I realized, hey, dang, I may need more. Um... Baby, ain't no changing that. And it's, a, and it's a notification that pops up, but it's just like, the fact that I entered it in and click continue, you should still let me go back until it's time for me to, until I click that submit button, then I see y'all saying, oh, you click submit, it's set in stone, you can't change it. I get that. But y'all was locking it in as soon as I entered an amount, way before I clicked the submit button. And that right there is shady business practices right there to me. That's just my opinion. But it's just like, that's neither here nor there. People need the money for their businesses like I do. You can only use these for ap operational expenses anyway. It's not like you can use the EIDL grants or um, or you can't use the EIDL loan, like the actual SBA loan. You cannot use that for assets. So if you think about doing it, you got a one-way ticket to jail. Do not pass go because that's exactly where you're about to be at. Um, as far as the fraud and everything that's going on, I'll address that in another video. But this is just my update with my process and what I've noticed when I actually went in to fill out the application. I got to eat and I got to clap back in. And so that's all I got to say. Make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe. If you have any input regarding this, or if you notice anything that I'm saying to be true, go ahead and comment below. Make sure, like I said, you guys like and subscribe and you guys have a nice day. Peace.